Hey yo, what's up? It's your girl, Just For Work. I'm coming to you with some good Christian content. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to me. Also, hit that notification bell. Holla! Hey yo, what's up? It's your girl, Just For Work, and I'm coming to you with a, um, at work audio file yeah that's right intro yeah at work audio file what what i'm here and i want to um give you some christian content so today i'm gonna talk about um today i'm gonna give you a true testimony how all my eyes became heat i was lost before i came to really know jesus christ i had no real identity i was selfish a selfish liar to be exact um I was hurting and I was hurting others while trying to figure out who I was. I was ignorantly exposing myself to everything that was against what I claimed to be a Christian. I was hurt. I was constantly seeking validation in every single place. I'm talking about sex, drugs, money, material things, people, I mean, even food. I wanted to be accepted. I wanted to be loved by everyone. I wanted to be your best friend, your girlfriend, anyone who would be of some type of importance to you. I wanted acceptance for who I was at that current state. I wanted to be known and well-liked. I figured that if I did enough, had enough sex, had enough friends, smoked the best, um, sang the best, acted the best, whatever the case may be. I would be the best. I wanted to feel good all the time, no matter what it took. I wanted to be famous to those around me and have the best selfies you saw on Facebook. I wanted to be the deepest post you read. I wanted to be relatable in every way. I knew I wanted to be a friend, have a car, have money, clothes, I wanted everything worldly. I wanted to do what I wanted to do. Even after I returned to church and I started to get my life together, I wanted to be the best Christian. I wanted to be the center of my life. I wanted to be a wife. I wanted to be involved and accepted. I wanted to cover up the past and act like it wasn't there. I wanted to be new and different. I mean, I even wanted the most prayers and the most guidance. I wanted that. And maybe I did need the most prayers and the most guidance. Even with all that said, I was an imposter. And an, an imposter is somebody who pretends to be someone else in order to deceive others, especially for fraudulent gain. I was deceiving myself. I went to church weekly praying, singing, smiling, and me and I were still at the center of my life. I was an imposter. I can't tell you how many times I was an imposter. And you can't be an imposter for too long because the truth will set you free. And when you see the truth, You'll either have to get with it or get lost. <laughs> and so I grew tired of being on the fence and I knew the truth of God's word. And I made a decision that I wanted what was real and what was real and, and everlasting. I was tired of playing carnal Christian, trying to win a losing battle against temptation and the flesh. I knew then I had a choice. Now, in this small intermission, I want you to stop playing this and go read John 3, um, 30 through 36. I'll be right back. If you read that, I'm glad you did. Now you understand. His way is the only way. Not me, but him. At my turning point in my life, the I became he. I was done with myself, but he wasn't done with me. This time it was a real acceptance of Jesus. Not just the motions and emotions, but a life devotion. He covered my sins and my shame. <laughs> he was, he's the why. He is why my father can look on me and look on me with love. 
He was listening and waiting for me to choose him the whole time. He changed my heart and gave me his desires. He gave me my true identity. He restored me beyond what I can explain to you on the short audio file. He changed my location and direction of this journey. He delivered me from the enemy and the curses from my family. He is what and who we are all searching for. He created us. He's consistent. He made me someone. He created us. And I am only who he says I am. It's a hedonity. That's what's happening. <laughs> he is who he says he is. He's faithful and everlasting. He's all knowing. He's with us every day. He is the I in me. And when I say that, I mean he's the center of my life because I yield my life to him. And now my life is different, is real. He gave me what I call a hedonity. <laughs> And some days may be tough because of temptation. I mean, I can't control that. But I hope you understand by the, by the end of this that he always gives us a way of escape. And now he being Jesus is my foundation, my solid rock that I stand on. He is the only way. Accept him for yourself. He is sinless and you are not. Yet he loves you and is waiting for you to choose him. Make him the center. Turn your eye into he. And he'll set you free. All right, guys, it's been real. It's your girl just for work, and I'm out. That was a true testimony of my life and how I turned all my eyes into heat. Peace.